We talked about this uh, when I was chasing the wires and checking out the ground straps um, on the transmission from a hard start problem. So we talked about the coil. So what I did was I went ahead and ordered a new coil and we were going to go through the steps and the reasons why you would want to uh, change a coil. So let's get into it. So obviously the first thing we're going to be working with uh, the electrics here. So the first thing is make sure your ignition is off, at least when you're doing this one. And then, as I always say, let's disconnect the battery you know, just to be on the safe side. Okay, back at the uh, bench here in the garage. Um, I bought this coil because the description said that it was the same coil that the original manufacturer used. Now everything's in Spanish so I'm thinking about the packaging so I'm thinking in Brazilian or the Mexican market they use these Beiru coils as their uh, coil that BW installed. I know the package has a red picture, picture of a red coil, but this is a blue coil. So we're going to give this Beiru a shot and we'll see how it is. It does say that it's manufactured in Germany, so that's a good thing. And it uh, comes with some hardware. We're going to check that out. We're going to put it into the uh, bus. Reasons to change your coil would be there's a few of them. Um, your car is backfiring constantly, coil is probably getting weak. Um, it's hard to start, won't start. Sometimes it can be a coil thing. Um, misfiring, and you've already ruled out your timing. And, um, you know, not so important in the Volkswagen world, the decreased fuel economy is also claimed to be a coil thing. So we will uh, install this puppy and see how it goes. Okay, so there's my old coil, which I have covered up with a little covering I made. And there's the new distributor, which I installed in a previous video. So the first step is to remove that off the distributor and then the next step is to tape up all your wires and mark them positive and negative. So I'm going to put you guys down, set you up and we'll get on to doing that one. Alright so these wires, I just removed the cap for the distributor uh, just so you guys can clear it, see it clearer. Um, I only have one wire on my negative side. And that goes to the electronic ignition. So I'm just going to remove that. I'm going to try and remove it. It's stuck. There we go. Um, and you can mark that if you want. I'm not going to mark that one um, since it's the only one and it's black wire. I kind of know. Uh, another thing, guys, is it's, it's windy out here today. So I'm, hopefully, I have on my little wind thing on my mic. Hopefully, that helps. But I uh, apologize in, in advance if the wind is too, too much. So all my positive wires need to come off. One. And of course, right? Two. came off that end so we'll have to fix that. Maybe that's part of my problems. 
Where'd that wire go? One, two, three. So I have three wires on my positive side and one that thermal end fell off when I took it apart. So uh, let's just tape all of them together. There we go. I'm a big fan of Sharpies. I used to be a graffiti guy. So anyway, I love Sharpies. Positive. Okay, there's my negative. These are all my positives. And that center wire that went on the distributor is off. Cool news. Now, uh, most guys I think have 10 millimeter uh, bolts holding a coil on. I happen to have a uh, mine is held in by these screws. So, psh, I mean, uh, I'll just take the screws off. But before I do that, let me get you guys a uh, let me get a pair of dikes so I can cut these zip ties and take this cover off, which I forgot to get. So standby. All right, let's just cut off these zip ties that are holding my cover on. <laughs> well, that was pretty damn easy, huh? This I just cut off of a uh, spray paint can from a stone wheel. Um, which was pretty appropriate when, you know, the bus was uh, that color. But now that it's the uh, new paint, you know, maybe not so appropriate. But I think I'll put it back on because I like it. All right, as I was saying, uh, most guys, most of the time your coil's held on by 10 millimeter bolts to your pants route. Um, mine has these, these uh, screws, so... And I'm pretty sure that's the way it came because I don't think I would have changed that. So, I'm um, looking at it now. Yeah. I'm just gonna take the whole thing, usually you just loosen a clamp up, but just for ease of access, I'm gonna take the whole thing off. Um, and we'll just swap the clamp over on the workbench. All right. Okay, we're back at the bench. So I'm looking over my clamp and I'm not surprised. I got probably the cheesiest clamp that's out there. I don't know where they got this one. It's not stock, I don't think. Um, but anyway, all it has is a, basically a bolt going through with a slotted head. Loosen that up. That should give you enough play to pull the coil out. Well maybe not. Maybe you gotta loosen it some more. Or maybe you gotta maybe you gotta loosen it even more. Or maybe you gotta dance a jig. I don't know what's going on here. Yay, it's stuck. Coming out, barely. Let's give it another couple turns here. Piece of shit. Ah, I see what's happening. Okay. All right. So there is the old coil. I've left the wire on for now. Um, and the clamp. So, good enough. Um, as I said earlier, 
I went ahead and got a Beiru model name, never heard of it, coil. Um, it's supposed to be OEM. It looks very similar. Um, it does not mark the terminals aren't marked 15 and 1 and just marked positive and negative which, which in my opinion is okay because half the time I don't remember that uh, the 1 is the negative and the 15 is a positive so uh, that's fine with me I did put a meter across this earlier and I got whatever was supposed to be the correct reading um, between 3 point something and something ohms I don't recall I didn't write it down so anyway I checked it out and it all seems fine I am going to transfer over these uh, terminal things because I like them so let me get a socket We'll just transfer that over. Um, what do you think? Eight? Ten? This is an eight. Perfect. We'll just transfer that over. As far as coils go, I did some research and you know one of the guys at my job who was a Volkswagen head also was telling me I should get the uh, like a Pertronics some kind of super duper output coil and uh, I thought about it and I priced it out and there you know it's probably double the cost on one of these stock ones but uh, did a little more research and basically you don't really need all that output if you're running a stock motor guys and I have a stock motor um, and I think it's the only time you really need Something like that uh, is if you're like keeping up with the Joneses or you're uh, you're running a high compression motor um, or you um, like there's this the gaps on your spark plug are way too high so I don't have any of those pro you know I wish I had a high compression motor or some kind of super setup but I'm just running stock daily driver stuff so uh, I went with the stock coil type setup. We're gonna see if that works. Um, this thing, do you guys remember which way I had this? I wanna say it was like this. Sitting in there. It wasn't like this. No, I think it was like this. So, uh, yeah. I should just slide over the top. Should just slide over the top. Hmm. All right, and uh, just tighten up the screw here, holds it together. Like that. Then I will uh, put on the new, put the wire on the new coil, like that. And I think we are ready to put her back in the car. Let's go do it. Strike one. Alright, let's see. So I slide this stupid thing this way. 
And then I uh, try not to break anything. Just messing this up, so I'm gonna take that off. Just kind of slide it back down here, like so. Put that on before I forget about it. And the, yeah, the wind is blowing again, guys, so I apologize. I'll tighten this to about, you know, 45 inch pounds. And tighten this one up. Yeah, I don't know. That's about, yeah, that's about 45 inch pounds. Okay. And then it's just a matter of uh, getting all your positive wires back out of this mess. that and connecting all of your I'm glad I looked because the positive on this side and the negative is over here now so I, I think I'm gonna leave it that way I'm gonna put the positives over here um, why not I'm hurting anybody So I may as well just leave it alone. Or maybe I should switch it around because this is kind of a pain in the ass now. <laughs> oh, stand by. All right, I got that one on in the back. Now, you know what's funny is that uh, you'll do something a hundred times and it'll be the simplest thing in the world. But God forbid you try to tape yourself doing it. You try to tape yourself doing it and you know, all of a sudden, you know, you just can't do it for the sake of your life. So uh, even if it's just putting a terminal on one of these stupid spades, see what I mean? Simplest thing. You do it a hundred times at, at work, a hundred times at home, it just doesn't work. So, uh, it's very interesting that way. So, what I'm going to have to do is take this thing off and switch it around. I gotta take, just take that off. I gotta take I was gonna try to just leave the positive on this side and the negative on this side, but I need to switch these doodads around in order to do that. Tis the only way. All right, um, blah. Okay, I took it all back apart. I took it all off, I spun the, water, the coil around, I switched over the little uh, terminal thingies so that they were back where they were originally. So now my negative is over here, my positive is over here. Um, positive has all those wires attached to it, that looks beautiful, and all that jazz. I need to clean up the uh, installation here a little bit. The Wires look like crap all over the place. So, here comes the wind again. That's fan, that's fun. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, I'll get all this cleaned up and then uh, I'll get back to you guys. All right, so while you guys are gone, I got the wires kind of zip tied together, cleaned up. Uh, Put the cap back on the distributor, and then obviously the last one of the last steps for me is to put the center wire back down, and then the final, final, final last step for me, which is going to be off camera for you guys, is to connect my battery back up. 
like that. And so that's it. New coil, I still, you know, I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna put my cover back on. I rather like it like that now, but I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe one of you guys can leave me a comment. I don't know. Uh, this wind is blowing like crazy, so I'm gonna stop this right now. We'll pull out and then we'll give her a start and see if she'll turn on. Well, it still runs. Um, I think uh, I'm gonna have to take it for a test drive and I'm not ready to do that yet, at least not today. Uh, so anyway, I think that we're all good right now as far as I didn't break anything new. And um, I know last time I said the next video would be the installation of the upper cabinet. Um, but I got this uh, coil in in the mail, so I really wanted to put that in. So anyway, um, next one should be the upper cabinet. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.